topic is to understand the width and the depth of product mix. Well, width, also known as the breadth, as already mentioned once, refers to the number of different product lines one particular company has to offer. Let's take a classic example of HUL here. Detergent, soap, toothpaste, talcum, powder, cosmetic are the different product lines for HUL which indicates nothing but its breadth line. Whereas depth refers to the number of product items within each product line. For example, within detergent, we have ring, ring bar, ring powder, wheel bar, wheel powder, surf, surf ultra, etc. which determines its depth. Whereas under soap, we have Rexona, we have Lifebuoy, we have Pears, which yet again talks about its depth. And the next one is to understand what is product line length. A line is too long if after eliminating a product, it results into increased profits. Whereas a line is too short when any addition to it results into increased profits. Line stretching can be done in three ways, either an upward stretching or downward stretching or two way stretching. Let's understand all the three terms in details. Well, upward stretching is here a company operates in the lower end of the market. By upward stretching, it proposes to enter into the higher end market, that is producing higher quality goods. Perhaps it is motivated by higher margin of profits, higher growth rate or a position of a full range marketer. This decision has its own risks though. Downward stretching means, let's understand it with an example. All of us know that Parker started with pens only at a very high price. But today if we look, we get Parker pens even at the rate of rupees 50, which nobody could have thought about in earlier times. Many companies start with high end products, but later stretch downwards by adding lower priced products. The down end products are advertised heavily so as to pull the customers to the whole line on the basis of pricing. This strategy needs very careful handling. The budget brand being promoted should not dilute the overall brand image. Besides, the budget brand must be always available because consumers should not feel that they were hooked to the bait for switching later. And two-way stretching means both upward and downward stretch could even stretch in two ways. Like several companies serve the middle end markets. They can stretch their product line in both the directions. Let's take an example. A hotel company operating hotels in the comfort category, wherein each room has a tariff of let's say 2000 to 3000 a day, might decide to have elite upper end hotels with tariffs of rupees 7000 a low a night, whereas a lower end budget, which would have rooms with tariffs let's say 600 to 1500 a day. Ashoka Group of ITC has thus elite 5 star hotels at the upper end comfort whereas also the middle end and the budget hotels like Ashoka Yatra Nivas at the lower end.